Meet the lionfish. It can grow to be about a foot long. Notice its maroonish stripes, feathery looking fins, and venomous spines. A sting from a lionfish can be extremely painful and cause nausea or breathing difficulties, but it's rarely fatal. Lionfish are common aquarium fish, but in recent years they've been spotted stalking prey on coral reefs along the Atlantic coast and in the Caribbean Sea. Texans only have to go diving in the Gulf of Mexico to run into one. The problem is they don't belong here. They're an invasive species that's threatening to disrupt the ecology and economy of the Gulf of Mexico. Lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific. They were probably introduced into the Gulf Stream after someone dumped them from an aquarium in the 1980s. But lionfish are voracious predators that can overwhelm the habitats they invade. Lionfish eat more than 50 species of fish and invertebrates that are commercially or ecologically important. Their stomachs can expand up to 30 times the normal size after a meal. In some parts of the Bahamas, lionfish have reduced populations of native fish by more than 60%. And they don't face a significant natural threat in the Gulf. In the Indo-Pacific, natural predators and parasites keep lionfish populations in check. They have no predators here. Not only are lionfish big eaters, they reproduce like crazy. A single lionfish female can spawn more than two million eggs a year. So what's stopping lionfish from destroying the ecosystems in the Gulf and the Caribbean? It turns out humans are the lionfish's only viable predator, and lionfish taste good. Conservation groups have organized lionfish derbies in which fishing parties compete for prizes by trying to catch the most lionfish. Once you clip off the venomous spines, the lionfish is safe to eat. A lionfish fillet tastes mild and has a texture similar to grouper. Lionfish can be fried, grilled, made into ceviche, lionfish cakes, jerky, or tacos. Humans caused the lionfish invasion in the Caribbean and the Gulf, but scuba divers, fishermen, and cooks may offer the best hope we have of keeping them in control today.